don't know. My legs went numb for a second. I heard a pop come from. Go this way. Can you move? Yeah. We hold our officers to a very high standard of service. And this particular time, we let the public down. Okaloosa County Sheriff Eric Aiden in this video posted to social media speaking on the incident of November 12th, 2023. While on a call with a suspect in the back seat, then Okaloosa County Deputy Jesse Hernandez reportedly claimed it was this noise that he thought was the detained suspect shooting at him. Shots fired! Shots fired! You know. Hernandez and Okaloosa County Sheriff's Sergeant Beth Roberts, who was on the scene, both shot into the patrol car. The detained person in the back seat was reportedly not physically injured. Officials say he was fully searched before he was put into the patrol car and after the incident, but he was found to be unarmed. The noise was reported to be an acorn. Hernandez resigned just weeks later. We have an obligation to our staff to try and train them the best we can so that they can go home unharmed to their families. But we have just as equally and just as important of an obligation to our public. Even if they're being investigated for a felony crime, we have that same obligation to protect them. In a recently released 44-page report of an internal investigation, it states Hernandez used excessive force. But for Roberts... Jesse, how are you? The report stated her response was in an effort to save Hernandez's life and that her response was reasonable. Sheriff Aiden offered his apologies to the man who was in the patrol car. We are so grateful and prayful and thankful that, that, that he was not injured. In Okaloosa County, Claire Jones, News Channel 7. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.